In today's video, I want to talk about a function that we have previously used when dealing with files. That function's name is called fseek. And I want to show you exactly what, in general, you can do with fseek, not just resetting the cursor. So uh, first things first, I opened here a simple file for just writing in text. And I'm just going to print out a few things. I'm going to say fprintf to our out file. I'm going to print out 20. And then fprintf, again to our art file, I want to print out 19. So if I try to run this, I'm going to get 2019. Great. Um, now, I want to manipulate this, uh, these prints using fseek. So first things first, how did, how did c or how did printf know how to write these characters to the file like okay the file is empty so we first write 20 to it right but then how did you know to write after the two zero characters the number 19 that's because that inside this these functions there's a cursor there's there's a certain cursor that says you are here inside the file so when you first open the file, you are at the beginning of that. And once you start writing or reading, so once you start here writing, for example, you're going to write two characters. Now the cursor is two characters to the right. And then once you're, you're trying to write again, your cursor is already at, uh, after the two zero characters. So it knows to write after those two characters and it writes 19 right after it. Right, so now at the end, like right before closing, our cursor is right after uh, the, all the characters that we have written. That's interesting, right? With fseek, we can really manipulate this cursor. We can move it wherever we want in file. So what I wanna do is use fseek here and offset it from the start, which is seek set, by zero bytes, right? So basically we want to set it at the start of our file. Okay, so what's this gonna do once I properly put a semicolon there? If I try to run this, our number dot that only has 19 on it. Why is that? Let's think a bit about it. Well, we have here the number 20. We first write to it, so it goes one, two, three. so the cursor is at two. Then we set it at the beginning and then it tries to write 19 from the beginning. So it overwrites over those two characters. So it, it puts a one instead of a two, and then it puts a nine instead of a zero, right? That's, that's the basic gist of it. I can, for example, set it with a difference of one from the beginning. I say here one. Now, if I try to run this, it's gonna be something very interesting. I'm gonna get 219. So how did we get 219 on the file here? So if I am, for example, the printer then itself, and I'm actually going to represent the cursor with, uh, with my cursor here. Well, first I execute this statement. So this statement says, okay, 20, print 20. Sure. I'm going to print 20 on the screen, on the file itself. Cool. Our cursor is right after zero, but then we say fseek out one seek set. So that means move it at one byte from the beginning. Well, this is zero byte at the beginning, one byte at the beginning. Cool, that's where the cursor is now. So now print 19 here. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna print. Remember, this guy overwrites. So I'm gonna say one and nine, 19. That's why we got 219 on the, in the file here. And we can manipulate this however we want. In fact, we can also say seek seek current and seek current is really the current uh, value of our cursor. So I can say, move it one byte from the current value. What are we gonna get in this situation? Well, if I try to run this, you'll notice I get both numbers, but they are separated with a space. Why? That's simple because we first wrote 20 on the file and then this guy said, okay, so after you print F20, your cursor is here, right? 
f6 or offset our cursor by one from our current position. Okay, so our current position is one. And I'm just gonna offset it by one byte. Cool. And then I'm gonna write in 19 from this uh, from this statement here. So that's why we got one space in between. We can do this like however many spaces you want. You can go and offset it by 50 and then you're gonna get 50 characters in between this, this 20 and 19. You can also you can also use seek underscore end, so you can go to the end of the file. Well, the end of the file in our case, for example, if I try to say print or f seek up until to the end of the file, which is actually the end of the file, I cannot read it right there, offset that by negative two, so we have space to write these two characters. What's gonna happen in this situation? If I try to run this, you'll notice I get 19 and that's it because we, we basically got first 20 on the, on the file here and then what's the end of our file remember w overwrites the whole file so now when we write to it the whole file is just two bytes that's it so the end of the file is like right here right where that cursor is so i'm going to say move the cursor to the end of the file minus two. One, two. So that's where it moved it. Basically at the beginning of, of, of our file. And if I say here, uh, in a, and then we write 19 over it. So you can say just one and nine. And that's why we get just 19 on the screen, right? So just remember that if you're using, this guy is going to overwrite your whole file. And well, the size of our file will be two bytes here. And that's why we got to basically the beginning of our of our file and that's about it with fseq you can do all sorts of operations you can also read from wherever you want using fseq right you can fseq to the end of the file minus 100 for example right if you already have the file in uh, memory and you can read from there if you really want to but this is the basic gist of it you're just controlling that cursor's position right so instead of uh, reading or writing it sequentially, you can read or write whatever you want. So I hope this was somewhat useful. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.